By 2035, Vietnam aspires to become a prosperous, creative, equitable and democratic nation. To achieve this goal, one of the key transformations that Vietnam will need to make is adapting the country's economic governance and management towards a facilitating state. The facilitating state is needed to help Vietnam achieve its goals of productivity, competitiveness, economic growth and prosperity in a sustainable manner. There are three key aspects to a facilitating state. The first aspect is developing good relationships between different actors in the government sector. The second key area of a facilitating state is between government and the private sector. It's really important for the government to be clear about its role versus the role of the private sector. Third, the relationship between government and citizens will be critical for making sure that service delivery is effective and that the needs of society and citizens are brought into play as the economy develops and advances further. In terms of going forward, there's three key things that are needed uh, to be able to build a facilitating state. The first is this coordination across different parts of society and government. The second is mechanisms of accountability to make sure that there is clarity amongst roles and functions. And the third is information and transparency. Information is the oil that feeds the engine of a modern society. And it's very important for Vietnam to be able to make the best use of information for all of its endeavors going forward.